how beautiful is this? Got up bright and early this morning to come up here, to Star Point Lighthouse, one of the best places here in Devon to watch the sunrise. Got a bit of cloud over the horizon, which is going to delay our sunrise a little bit. But once that peaks over, we're going to get some beautiful golden light here on the coastline. And yeah, we're going to go down there, find some nice compositions, get some shots and uh, see what we can do. And there's no wind either. So hopefully today we can get the drone out and I can get some shots from out there inland, which is really one of the main reasons I've come down here to do that. And it's my first vlog, so what better way to start a first vlog than here at Start Point Lighthouse at the start of a new year. Let's go. Okay, I've just found myself a nice little seat. Got my tripod all set up a bit weirdly here, but I've got a kind of a nice composition, which is just like the, the rocks down here. They're just leading up into the image. I do have another photographer over here, but I'm not too worried about him. Um, so yeah, just uh, waiting for this sun to come up a little bit more, which is about to start peaking right now. And then we're going to start getting some nice golden light on the, on the rocks here and along the coastline. So it's important to have a, not only focus on Start Point Lighthouse here, because obviously that's your main focus, but also the coastline around here is absolutely stunning. And when that golden light hits it, focus on that as well. Don't just focus on the lighthouse. But it's, um, yeah, it's kind of difficult not to when you've got stunning views like that, you know. Okay, so I'm just having a little look at my histogram here, making sure I am clipping either side. You can see in my shadows and then my highlights clipping very slightly. But I know the dynamic range of the Nikon Z6 is really good, so I can control them highlights in post-production and bring them shadows out in post-production as well. So I'm not really too bothered about that. So I've been using my 14 to 30 millimeter lens while I'm up here. For me, it just works really well just to get that massive vista in and to get the rock formations as they go down into the image as we were doing earlier. Um, Here's another nice shot, as I was saying earlier, about getting the golden light. Even though the sun's coming up quite quickly now, we're losing some of that golden light, but it's still absolutely beautiful. All I'm doing is focusing on infinity there, on the cliffs in the back, and um, using my aperture to control my depth of field here. So I'm around about f11, f13, and that's at 16 millimeters. So that gives me, I, I should be all right, getting it all acceptably in focus in the foreground, all the way to the back.
it is absolutely stunning, that view, isn't it? And with the tide out, well, the tide's actually slowly started to come in now. We should get a high tide in roughly two hours. But it's nice with the um, bits of rock just pointing out. It kind of leads like leading lines up to the lighthouse, which makes for a really nice shot. And some of the waves crashing in there. I think it'll be an opportune mo moment to get a bit closer here and uh, get a nice shot of that. I photographed this spot uh, a couple times before, but mainly from up there. But yeah, there is a fence here, so you don't want to get too close to that edge. The sheep don't mind it though. Plenty of sheep around. So we're just carrying along the coast path now. Just gonna have a walk around to the beach around there and uh, see if there's anything to photograph. Wow, just admiring that view again. This is an area I've used several times. You've got East Pool over there, which is, uh, and on top of the point there, you've got a lookout station, which keeps an eye on all the cargo ships coming by. But one of my favorite things to do down here is not only to obviously photograph Start Point Lighthouse and the coast, but is it has one of the darkest sky regions here in the Southwest. So that makes it great for astrophotography. If you've probably seen some of my astrophotography on my Instagram and that, it'll be from down this way. East Pool's an area which I've used a lot because there's a National Trust car park there, which is easy access down onto like the cliffs down there. Obviously, if you're gonna go down there, scope the place out before you go. Don't go down in the middle of the night because, you know, it's really dangerous down here. You are in the sticks here. You're a long way from help and yeah just be really mindful coming down here. But some of the detail that you can get and the stars that are out, it's just absolutely stunning down here. Yeah, beautiful. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so I'm here at Matiscum Sands. I think I pronounced that correctly. Just trying to photograph this beautiful beach. As the tide's coming in, it's creating some nice waves coming in there. But I want to take the drone over and get some vertical images down onto the beach with the waves coming in. That's what I'm trying to look for now. This is where the drone really comes into hand. Got more photographers coming now. Here we go. Yeah, the drone worked out really well a minute ago. Got some cracking shots and you get a really nice turquoise color in the water. Really beautiful. But now what I've got on, I've got my 70 to 200 2.8. And what I'm doing is trying to capture some of these big waves as they come in and they break. Because just above the lip of the wave, you get a really nice kind of like transparent, yeah, turquoise color again. It's just a really nice color in it. And that's what I'm trying to capture now. Just waiting for the sets to come in so the big waves will come in. But yeah, I mean, God, I don't know where the surfers are. There's some cracking waves down there. Look at this one, look how clean that is. 
for my settings here, I've got it on F8, just because there's so much light about, I can go at that aperture and that'll give me a really sharp point on that in these images. I've set my ISO to auto, so that'll automatically increase and decrease um, to the correct exposure, because all I'm really doing now is controlling my shutter speed, which I have a 400th of a second to really freeze that image, to really freeze them waves coming in. So I don't have to do anything, I just control my shutter speed. I'm in manual, I haven't got it on shutter priority because I always shoot in manual, I like to be in full control most of the time. Nice. Whoa. Whew. Well, that is me done. It's been a long morning, but it's been well worth it. Had a beautiful walk along the coast, seen Start Point. Hopefully you can take something away from this video. If you've got any questions about the photos that I've taken, please get in touch. What I will do is I'll put a sequence of all the photos I've taken today at the end of this video. So please have a look. And hopefully I've inspired you to come down to Start Point for a nice stroll along the coast. Or a surf, as the surfers have just turned up. Subscribe to my channel. I think that's what they do. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next adventure.